Gracias. Hasta luego. So I got this place from Airbnb in my favorite area that is called Roma Norte and man, this flat is really nice. Look at all this decoration, all the plants, and it's just one bedroom. This is the view from my Airbnb, look at that. One small kitchen, this spacious living room with a nice view. And of course I have here my home office. And talking about that, like Mexico City, it has really, really fast Wi-Fi because it's fiber optic, but of course, we're gonna go out and check all the coffee shops and co-workings and try to find the best uh, internet plus the best uh, digital nomad community. You see, the hardest thing about making this video is to show you most of Mexico City because it's actually huge and it's divided by subdivision. And here we are in Álvaro Obregón, but this is also Roma Norte. They have Roma Sur, Condesa, Reforma. And I used to live here once, so I came back to the same area and I'm gonna show you most of Roma Norte. But still, we're gonna go around. Like, we're gonna try to narrow it down to the best option for digital nomad, like the areas that you can just walk, meet people, get some coffee. So. Uh, there's so many places that I need to show you. So in Mexico City, you're gonna find plenty of coffee options. And here in Alvaro Obregón, which is one of the main streets, like two, three blocks away from my place, you can find this one, it's called Quentin. And what I like about this one is like, coffee is actually really great. They brew their own coffee. This, this back is from Oaxaca City. And actually, the Mexican bean is one of the best ones to, to have coffee with. And they have a few tables to work. The Wi-Fi is actually pretty fast. So I think it's one of the perfect places to start the day, you know? And they have a few locations. They have one here, another in Condesa, and I think something in Roma Sur. So being a big city, of course, there's plenty of supermarkets, but the one walking distance here in Roma Norte is called Azumesa. So I just bought a bunch of stuff like sparkling water, some bananas, some veggies, because I'm usually eating out, so I don't cook too much at home, but just to have something, and I spent around 320 pesos, which is like $16. This is what I like about Mexico City, like prices of specialist groceries, like they're really cheap. And the taco here is like, it's the best thing of Mexico. Okay, so what we got here, this is one of the classic ones, this is getting al pastor. This is just marinated pork, which is the pastor with cheese and uh, wheat tortilla. This is a real, real taco pastor. And this one, it's a uh, steak with uh, chorizo. Now the key for the tacos in Mexico is to get all these sauces. You got the red, you got the green. But you just like put anything that you want, you, like you put all this green sauce in the taco. And then you can also add some lemon. Mm. Yeah. And also got this drink that is horchata, which is just a drink of rice and cinnamon. One of the most typical Mexican drinks, and you also get it around with the tacos. It's 140 pesos, which is around $7. So it's like the same price everywhere in Mexico City. It's like, it's just what I like the tacos here, man. So there's this vending station where you just put your details. And there's this EcoBC app. You can check any of the locations. There's so many locations. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, you welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to the beach. Sarah now lives in Mexico City, right? Yeah. You know, last time we went was Puerto Vallarta. Uh -huh. Now you're taking me to your, your, your activities. Like, totally, yeah. I'm excited for that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we're going to have an awesome bike ride, see some different areas of the city. I'm actually not really sure where we're going, but um, it's always fun. So, nice. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. What? Nomad? Nomad Sergio? Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, cool. I think oh, wow. use your video. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> We're here at the Fuente de Cibele. We're offering the original Eco BC, <laughs> the Eco Leon. There's something that I like about Mexico City that everybody's on a bike. Look at that. It's a lot of people. At least on Sunday, they close the main avenue. You see everywhere, everywhere on a bike or, or like roller skaters. It's so much fun, man. Right? So much fun. Yeah, like taking the metro was a lot of fun. Like it's easy. People say that it feels a little bit unsafe, but I don't think so. Two, three stops to get to downtown, so it's feasible. I think it's pretty okay to take the metro here and there. Thank you. 
I'm getting a coffee here at Cafe Tao in downtown. One of my friends is running this shop and I checked the Wi-Fi too. Wi-Fi is like surprisingly really fast. Man, what did, what did you get? The cazuela? I thought it was just going to be like an omelet. This is... <laughs> this is massive. A lot. That's really good. You're going to stay in Mexico City for four months? Potentially, we'll see. Potentially. But I really like it here. Nice. It's a really good place. Well, that's why we're going to go to around right now. And see, exactly. See if you like it. Centro Historico, as we say in Spanish. This reminds you of a European city? Yeah, like Italy, right? Yeah, a little bit. All right, Bellas Artes is a beautiful place, like the murals. They're huge, they're amazing, right? Yeah, they're great. You yeah. have to come here. Diego Rivera, Siqueiros, all these uh, Mexican famous artists. It was fun, right? Yeah. That's a good question you were asking about the weather here in Mexico City, right? And people don't know that much, but it's in a high altitude. It's 2,200 meters, which is like 7,000 feet of altitude. So it's, yeah. a, it's a little bit high for a lot of people. But the thing is that the weather, because it's higher and it's also like around mountains, yeah. it gets cold. Like you see, you have the jackets. It's a little, little cold. It's not, yeah. it's not New York. No, it's whatever. not New York. <laughs> But it's cold. People are expecting, you know, to be hot all the time. When you come to Mexico City, you gotta bring a jacket. Yeah. That's a must. All right, so what is it called? Muna, no? Muna. Museum of National Art. Oh, in Mexico City, everywhere you go, it's a workout. Subway, museum, hotel. Bring your walking shoes. You see, it looks like Harry Potter. It does. Mm. You feel like you're in a castle. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say this. I haven't seen a post office this beautiful ever. Mm. We had a post office in the U.S. like this. I would say all day. <laughs> now we're going to Zocalo, the main main square of Mexico City. Yeah. One of the things that you always gotta get in Mexico is micheladas. They put some spices on it and they put the beer on top. All right, cheers. Salud. I don't know what it is, but it tastes different. It's it's sweeter. And of course, if you're in Mexico, you gotta try guacamole. Like... Mm. Okay, so this one is also moss in Mexico, so enchilada yeah. suizas. Lemon and chilies on top, and they're usually made of uh, meat, like chicken. It's good. It's good? It's really good. For meetups in Mexico City, there's so many, and right now I'm going one in a terrace. Like this, a group called the Digital Nomads uh, CDMX. We've been doing it for uh, like our sixth event. Jokes. Yeah. And it's been a real success. We're having loads of fun with it, and it feels like um, something that's just picking up pace. I mean, look at all the people here. It's like it's been such a success. Oh, thank you for organizing. Yeah. yeah. The inner garden here in this place is beautiful. It's supposed to have like three or four uh, blend station coffee shops uh, all around Mexico City, but I like this place because uh, coffee is great. There's good Wi-Fi and like lots of people working. Like it feels, it feels like a place to work. You know. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah, this is the enchiladas, but like the vegan version. Sí. I was trying to so. look for the best vegan options, and Mario was telling me for a few options. Because Mexico City has lots of vegan stuff here, yeah. so it's, I'm very surprised. And yeah, according to her tips, we're gonna go all the vegan options. Thank you. It's good. Do that. Okay, te compro esta. Wow. I mean, I'm Mexican, but it's the very first time that I've ever been to a Lucha Libre. And I got my mask, and we're ready to go in. I'm excited.
But it's like it's it's cheering like the team that we I wanted. I think Mystico is still my favorite. Yeah, we wanted a guy to win, but they didn't. It's fine. He's a winner in here. Yeah. <laughs> So one of the things that I like a lot about Mexico City is like these stalls you can find in all of the corners of there, especially in Roma Norte. And I got these tamales from this place. And also I got some fruits from the one over there. Like there's so many spots. And it's just like a great way to have your breakfast lunch. So Condesa is full of digital nomads, extras and foreigners. There's a lot of co-working options. And my friend Willie invited me to show this one. It's called Half. And it's pretty cool that the design of the place is really nice, the Wi-Fi is really fast, and lots of places to sit down, some are very comfy. And I already made a few friends, plus they have like drinks, you can eat something, so you can spend the whole day here. So I was saying that if I was living in this area of Condesa, yeah, I'll come off. Dude, you should come anyways. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, thank you. Yeah, no worries. So I just took the metro bus. It's a pretty handy transportation because the bus, he has his own line on the street. So it can take you very far without the traffic. And I'm going right now to Coyacan, which is like way, a little bit far from Roma Norte. So it was good to take the bus. The one thing that I like a lot about Mexico City is like every place looks different, you know? Like we're here in Coyacan. And it looks totally different from Roma Norte or downtown. Yeah. It's so cool. It's, it's one city of 30 cities. So That's a good way to say it. So I bought this like six months ago in Guadalajara and obviously today is the perfect day to wear it. I like it. Um, a little tribute to our lady. It looks nice. <laughs> so a lot of people know who's Frida, this Mexican artist. So here, we're here in the Frida Kahlo Museum. Like it's, it used to, used to be her house. We're going to check everything. Like how she used to live, all her paintings, all her backstory. It's kind of, it's interesting. Oh, I got a pupo tostada. Pupo tostada. I got a mushroom one and a mole. I was saying to Sarah that eating tostadas, you, like the only way is you gotta make a mess. But it's good. It says the guy not wearing a white shirt. Order the tostada. And it takes 10 seconds, and then look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How quick it was. Alright, let's cheer for uh, yeah, Koyakan and, absolutely. Koyakan and coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I found this gym like very close to my Airbnb. It's like full equipped. It's very cheap for the month, so it's gonna be fun. Oh, I'm tired now. I just took a walk around Bosque Chapultepec. Man, this park is beautiful. He said that it's twice the size of Central Park. Like there's so many things to do. And there's a few museums, I think like five or six of them. I think it's gonna take me a few days to discover all the park. Um, I'm excited to go around. I just pick up a car and we're gonna do a road trip. I mean, just one hour away from here, uh, just to get uh, to the pyramids, the most famous one here in Mexico City. And just get into the coffee shop, meet my friends and to start the fun. All right, guys, welcome to the pyramids of Teotihuacan. Wow, very cool. Yeah. We've been a little bit cheap, so instead of <laughs> getting a tour guide, we just get a Wikipedia. So the Toltec, they built the pyramids, yeah, and then it was abandoned, and later on the Aztecs found it. Got it. 
been here before and I had climbed it. Sure. But I think through the pandemic you can now. Uh, this is such a shame because it's cool just to go way up. In this yeah. one and, and the yeah, one you in see the, the whole uh, Yeah, and the one the sun that is the, the tallest one, you see the whole thing. Yeah. That's beautiful. All right, chalupas, like the appetizer from Puebla. That's really good. It's good. The main reason that I wanted to come here is because they get in the mole, and it's something that I ate a lot when I was living in Puebla. How is it? Mm. Oh man. First off, heaven. Heaven? <laughs> That's the way you clean uh, dishes in Mexican. If you want to drive a car in Mexico City, I think you gotta be an expert driver because people drive a little bit crazy here and it's a big city so you're gonna expect a lot of traffic too. Only get a car or rent a car if you go in far places like the pyramids but if you stay around Roma and Condesa it's just better to walk or get an Uber because they're pretty cheap. So I'm checking the park uh, La Mexicana, my friend Cho, and it's just full of dogs, no? Yes, plenty of them. It's just heaven for, like, if you like dogs, this is your place. Atlas, you... Atlas, you don't know. Atlas, you don't know. One of the things that I like about Mexico City is like it's very dog friendly. Lots of dogs. Everybody brings their dogs, especially on Sunday. It's such a good spot. And these Santa Fe areas are like full of uh, big buildings. Look at that. Hot chocolate from Tabasco. So where I'm from? Is it sweet? No, no, no. Rico. Good. Vegan tacos with these pink, cute tortillas. And I have a few, like this one is a pastor, like mushroom. This one is a tofu, and this one is cauliflower. Oh, I forgot. Oh, enchilada. Oh, enchilada. Is it really that good? Try it, man. Very good. I finished my plate in two minutes, two and a half. And I had another one waiting. <laughs> is it good? Is it like, yeah? What is it? It's bananas, but they... Just funny, you're gonna find marachis in this square, like the hair we in this square. Meeting some friends in a cantina just next to the Mariachi Square. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Sarah came out with the idea of having like a canteen tour, right? Yes, yes. And just invite, inviting a bunch of people. Yeah. So we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> To the second uh, canteen or cantina, and this one is so beautiful. Look at that! It's like it could be like a, a bar in England, You're right? Like a nice one. Like you wouldn't expect that in Mexico City. No, okay. I don't imagine this is like what I would think of as a cantina. <laughs> Came to this place to get churros, which is a very Mexican thing, and uh, this is just like 100% vegan. It only has sugar and some bread. I don't know. It's really, really good. Having a coffee and a churros breakfast. It's not a bad thing to start the day. So the Museum of National Anthropology. It's like one of the best museums in the whole country. Like they show you everything, everything, like all the civilizations that we used to have in Mexico. And these heads are from my hometown, they're from Tabasco. It takes you hours to check everything because it's, it's massive. And everybody's trying to take the picture to the Aztec calendar, 
It's like the most famous sculpture here. If you want to learn the past of Mexico, you gotta come to this museum. It's such a beautiful place. Pura vitamina. <laughs> and they're having an ice cream just in front of the museum. Just, just 25 pesos. Like a colorful, like different kind of flavors. I'm gonna watch one of these guys, like the Voladores de Papantala. Like four guys in a big, big pole. And they just go around and around until they get on the floor. It's supposed to be a ritual that brings rain or fertility, something like that. They, they bring prosperity to the people who does that, so. This is, this is a Mexican pizza, right? Because they're using beans instead of tomatoes. They have this with la coche, that is like fungus, monk, yeah, and uh, pumpkin flour. I like the, the beans instead of the tomatoes. Yes, try the Maria Julia. It's like Margarita. Maria Julia, like Margarita. Margarita Maria Julia. Such a clever name. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite places in Mexico City. Is the National Cinematheque. Tons of cinema options. There's one in open air. There's like coffee shops, like people chatting, walking, shows like the creative vibe of Mexico City, you can find it here. So Tierra Garad is like a friend said, it's like the Starbucks of Mexico City. I think it's a reliable place if you just want to work sometime, because they have Wi-Fi, good coffee, and a lot of tables to work. Okay, one of the things that you gotta do in Mexico is like, Check, check out the markets, you know, they, in Spanish they're called tianguis, and they're everywhere in Mexico everywhere, City. Everywhere. And we're gonna go to the, supposed to be the most dangerous market or area yeah. in, in Mexico City. My favorite, Tepito. Her favorite. <laughs> if you Google Tepito, it will say the most dangerous area of Mexico City, but no, we're gonna fine. think so, right? It's fine, it's fine. No, and let's go, uh, let's go check out the market. Yeah, let's do it. This is a maze, so we need to go either that way, that way. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> Where the wind takes us, which I think is that, that way. way. Yeah. Good? So good. I love the waters here. It's very refreshing. Nice. Can I get that one? this market I stumbled upon it by accident on a Sunday afternoon and you'll see that there's like little parties going on in each pocket of the market it's so funny it's like a, a nightclub but at 1 p.m. on a Sunday I love so. it Ended up in here in um, Pulqueria. <laughs> uh, very local. Drinking too much. Been here since opening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This drink is made of agave. Uh, fermented. Fermented. Yeah. A very good way to end the tepito. Yeah. Tour. Totally. Very tepito style. Yeah. Cheers. So I found these electric scooters that you can just rent for the day or hour. So you just gotta use the app Econduce, and I'm gonna test it out. Oh man, what can I tell you? I think it's becoming my favorite way of transportation. Like these electric scooters, they go around uh, 50 kilometers, which is like 35 miles per hour. So it's like, it goes pretty fast. It's silent, like it's, <laughs> that's what I love the most. And also driving the scooters here around the city, like it might be a little bit difficult because you know, like driving in Mexico City is a little bit hard. But if you also like, you're an expert as a uh, mono driver, I think you'll be fine. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So my friend Alan just invited me to uh, eat some burgers and look at the mess that we made. It's it's a freaking mess. But it's a YouTuber, it's a famous Mexican YouTuber who we met in Thailand and I actually owe him to be a YouTuber. He inspired me to be a YouTuber, so happy to be to meet him here in Mexico City. Hi to everybody that's watching this video. When you're trading with an influencer, they give you all these things. <laughs> look at that, it's crazy. Wow. I just 
bought a ticket to watch Club America, which is a Mexican soccer team here in Mexico City, and we're going to the Azteca Stadium, the best stadium in Mexico. With that, it's a rainy day in Mexico City. So on a rainy day, I'm just gonna work at home and it's actually a perfect time to test out, you know, like the delivery service in Mexico City. And I got one from Uber Eats, it's a vegan restaurant. I just ordered like a scrambled tofu and uh, pumpkin flower soups. And for meeting people in Mexico City, it's so easy because there's so many nomads here. You can use WhatsApps, like, like so many WhatsApp groups that you can just connect easily. But I would recommend you to check nomadlist.com. It's a website that shows you like the best cities for remote workers. And for example, Mexico is here. And it tells you all the information that you want to know, like the overall score, quality of life. For example, now that I'm in Mexico City, it tells you how many people are right now here. Look at that, more than 58. You can also create meetups. And talking about that, I'm creating one that we're gonna go to a pizza place and meet all the digital nomads that are here so we can just hang out. So it's gonna be fun. So today I'm going to a fancy area of the city and I found this app called Beat. You can rent an Uber. It just costs around $10 to ride. And I just arrived to Polanco, which is more like the trendy, uh, modern area. Like there's a little, lot of cool restaurants. And the first I just started in this coffee called Boycott Cafe. The wife was like really, really fast. And the first thing is to check the museums. I'm excited to check Sumaya, like one of the most famous ones. So I got this atole, which is like a hot corn-based drink from Mexico. This is one made of coconut, it's really good. And I found a friend from high school. So I was gonna check this museum, the Pumex, but it's closed because they're like renovating for the new like opening show. But if you come to Mexico, like next to the Sumaya is the Pumex, so you gotta check it out. You don't know who you're gonna find. Yeah. That's the cool thing about Mexico City. <laughs> We're gonna give you one plate for each one different. When you sure. finish, I just give you one more. On people's okay. Plate. This one is a uh, taco. Underneath, we add avocado with aged cheese roasted. Wow. We add mm, fresh corn. The name is Prieto from Cuijingo, Estado de Mexico. This one is a chunda, thick tortilla with a base of potato grinded with cheese, with la coche tres de fungos of the corn, with oh. avocado, purslain, and red salsa different than the center one. So I think this might be my favorite meal in Mexico City. <laughs> I know it's a bold statement, but it, does, it's a big it really deal. is. It's, it's a big deal. It's like experimental. And yeah, I love the whole concept. Of yeah. Star. What are you eating here? What is, <laughs> are you eating this? Well, I haven't eaten it yet. Okay. I don't it's like a crunchy little... Um, I just got to Desierto de Leones, it's a nature park like 40 minutes away from Mexico City but it's such a good place, uh, there's like some restaurants you can eat something, I got some cafe de olla, like typical Mexican coffee with the Mexican pastry and it's also a convent that you can see like the area where there used to be nuns and all this religious stuff, it's a nice place if you want to get out of the city. around Zona Rosa it's like the area for the LT, LBTG community and it's very interesting to see like all walks of life around here yes. 
So this pozole is a stew, so it's served hot and you can feel a little bit of the thickness. The taste, the taste is so refreshing, especially, I don't know, it's a good way to wake up or after hangover, the pozole. So I wanted to try this is Kites, just one of the corners in Zona Rosa. I put mayo, corn, chili, everything. It's just it's just really good. Pretty good uh, place, good jazz, music, drinks. Pretty nice. It's a very cozy place to hang out. Yeah, I really like it. Thank you for joining. So Sarah, if you get to choose between a library or a coffee shop, like a famous, <laughs> famous coffee shop. Caught on camera, I feel yes. really bad. But I'm just gonna say that for consistency, it will probably be Starbucks. To be honest, I think it's one of the most beautiful uh, Starbucks. At least in Mexico City, you know, yeah, the true. trees yeah. and the whole thing. Uh, but I'm back. Uh, I'm back in Chapultepec Park. With my friend Sarah. We're gonna go to the castle. All the stalls yeah. are the cheapest that you will find in the city, yeah. which is crazy because it's a big tourist destination. But I've gotten a hat for thirty pesos and a fanny pack for like sixty pesos. Nice. Yeah. I was gonna say welcome <laughs> to MTV Cribs. Got the whole Mexico City. I know. You it's never get to long. see this view. Yeah. I just spent a lot on this Airbnb. So. <laughs> Hope Thank you, you enjoyed for, it. Thank you for your <laughs> Airbnb tour. <Yeah. laughs> so, this is the main entrance of Chapultepec, we're saying that, right? Mm -hmm. I was going to uh, make a joke about showing you an icon of Mexico City, which most people think is the Angel of Independence. Yeah. But really, it's the traffic. <laughs> the traffic. <laughs> funny because he gave you all the Spanish uh, definition of each beer. Did you get it? Some of them, yeah. Of them. I pick out words. I'm like, oh yeah, Pima? Mm, got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, the another cool thing about Mexico City is just like they have breweries. And you can try all kinds of beers over here. And after the castle, we're just enjoying some beer. And I hear you can tell I have a style yeah, that I can. like. <laughs> yeah. So this is Lina, Mexico City, and it's great to know that because they usually have like great co-working spot with fast Wi-Fi and like people from everywhere, local foreigners. The only thing is this close to downtown is not that close to Roma Norte area. If you want to stay somewhere like your first days, so I would recommend Selena and then just find your way into Roma Norte and the Condesa area. So Mercado Roma is like the fancy market here in Roma Norte. And they have like several types of food. The one that I wanted is Flor de Vegano, which is a vegan chile de nogada. And, and it's really good. So as I studied architecture, I learned a lot about Mexican architects. And there's one that is very famous, especially in Mexico City, and it's the architect Luis Barragán. He has a few projects like this one, Satellite. They're just a little bit far from this area. And also his own house. You can take a tour and check the whole house, but unfortunately you can't take videos, only photos. And I'll show you some of that that I had. But he was a pretty cool architect and I got inspired a lot on his work. So if you like architecture, you want to see how Mexico City was before, you got to check all his work here in Mexico City. Andrea, she's one of my first friends on this entrepreneurial oh, First world. online friends. And like <laughs> Literally. what? Eight years ago or something like that? Yeah, I stay here in Mexico City. I'm not traveling around the world. <laughs> you used to. Why would you recommend people to live in Mexico City? Because there's always something to do. That's like basically, and you have access to everything. You can travel everywhere. Like it's super easy to travel from here to somewhere else. It's like a, you love it or you hate it, Mexico City. I feel there is no middle point. Yeah, mo molletas? Bread. 
served with uh, beans and cheese. It's really good. By the way, this place Pendula, it's really cool. Like it's a library, and it's also a coffee shop, and it's also a restaurant, it's everything. So Alan, the YouTuber that I met in Thailand, he's also an actor. So we're gonna check his, his show. It was a good show. It was in Spanish, so it's, I wouldn't recommend to my English audience. But it was fun. It was really good. Yeah. Alan, Alan was good. It was funny, right? Yes. Two hours just by himself. Yes. <laughs> So Julian is the community manager of the outside of Mexico City. Yes. Right. And you're gonna show us around, right? Yes. Like it's literally next to the coffee shop. This is so cool. It's intended to be like that because we wanted to be, to have the full experience for our, for our guests. Yeah, guys, this place is a maze. Yeah. It's like how many rooms? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Anymore. It's nice, nicely made. Yeah. And the terrace is this the terrace you said we could? Yeah, we're having a meetup like gathering just uh, the normalist community with the outside community and it's just fun like this place is awesome they have like 14 rooms and it's a cool area called Naples. yeah actually i will say it's one of the best neighborhoods where you can live besides um, condesa and, and roma, roma yeah. it's becoming famous it's a really great spot you will find a lot of hotels but also airbnbs as well uh, and yeah you can have fun i like this life <laughs> I might continue for a long time. Nice. I know that I've been showing you a lot of like the fancy places you can find around Roma, but this is also like these small restaurants you can have like the menu of the day, comida del día, and you know like, you can choose whatever you want from there. You know, usually like, people who go to co work in their offices, they just come here, get the lunch, and just carry on with the day. And I mean the craziest thing is that this whole meal, the menu of the day, is just ninety pesos. It's like four point five dollars. Such a good spot. So if you like some of the shots that you see here, they're by my friend Sergio, we have the same name. And you have a YouTube channel too. Yeah, it's called Normal Mexican Guy and it's uh, it's all about drone shots. Yeah, I actually spent five years of my life here studying. It's and, the, the uh, UNAM, not the National... It's the National Autonomous University of Mexico. The main campus, which is where we are, is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a World Heritage Site. Yeah. The, the art of eating the masa pan is it doesn't break. So let's see. So we got some uh, Mexican candies here in the university. And I got this one. This is what I used to eat when I was younger. Snow cone. Snow cone, yeah. Okay. So this is a mix of lemon and, uh, and mango. It's all uh, natural fruit. I'm happy to see you again, man. And uh, thank you for showing me around. And now we're going to go to San, San Angel, uh, very close to here, just to check another area of Mexico City, right? It's a very beautiful area, too. It's a colonial, it's old. It's a craft yeah. market. It's a very high end craft market, yeah. Here is where many, many artists all over the the city come come here and um, they they exhibit yeah. their 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 works. This is your favorite spot in the whole Mexico City. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, look, it's it's really really beautiful and it's very calm. You can you can come here and relax and just chill and just enjoy life, surrounded by beautiful trees. <laughs> He put my name on the... So we're doing one of the main tourist activities in Mexico City is the boats in Xochimilco and one of my friends invited me, he's a tour guide, to so tell us a little bit about it. Xochimilco actually means place of flowers in the in Nahuatl, the Aztec language. And the Xochimilco is adapted to this area by building artificial islands we call chinampas. Local people from here started building boats and renting them out to people to just come and even bring their own food and drinks and have fun. So nowadays, people just come with their barbecues or their own food or drinks, celebrate birthdays and weddings or whatever, right? So the water from the lake is very clear, right? And here's the axolotl 
These Mexican amphibian animals, so cute. It's really pretty, it's relaxing, it's nice. Relaxing, but for some people it's party. <laughs> it depends. Like Enrique, it's party. Like Enrique. Uh, Enrique's party right Work. <laughs> or partying is my job, I don't know. So I heard many good things about this place, Tamales Madre, and they make like their own kind of tamales, like more natural, like less processed. I was very interested to try one. This is made of a wasant and pastilla chile sauce. This is plantain leaf with hierba santa. It's like a savory bean paste uh, with some tomato. So there's this coffee shop called Alma Negra and they can give you like several types of coffees like they call it Kuto Cafe They show you like what kind of uh, beans do they use Explain the whole thing here, which is pretty cool Okay, this one is that I'm most excited about This is a cold brew This place on Alma I heard has the best cold brews in town But here in the market like you can find all kind of food and I got this pambazo which is like the typical, you know, like bread from Mexico. The bread they use like red guajillo pepper. You have like chorizo or like potatoes. And I add some uh, like spices into the pambazo. I also bought this one from a, a, a Mexican guy who actually is subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's exquisito. Muy rico. Lo mejor de la Ciudad de México. Another thing that I like about Mexico City is like it's full of parks. You can find small one, big one, like this one, Parque Mexico, and you can buy any kind of snacks. Like we like to put chili in everything, as you can see here. This is just potatoes, but we have like all kinds of snacks, especially with chilies. But people walking, having fun, uh, walking with the dogs. Taking a picture of you, taking a picture. <laughs> so this hostel has its own terrace called Terraza Catedral. And it's just in front of downtown, you have the big cathedral in front and the beautiful everything. Like, yeah. It's beautiful already. It's like 30 cities in one, as I've mentioned before. Yeah. And I think you could just never, ever, ever be bored of this place. Like, it's just amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm getting the last tacos in Mexico City with these guys. You mean the best tacos? This is Netflix, it's gotta be a reason for Netflix. Yeah. So, what if they just paid Netflix? <laughs> Maybe that. <laughs> just paid them off. <laughs> so? Mm. That's, that's... Netflix has no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> no, they're pretty good. They good? I like them. Nice? Yeah, the tortilla is good. Nice. Mm. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. So, recommended. Definitely recommended. Nice. I just got into the sky deck of the Tower Latinoamericana. It was one of the first like highest towers in the whole Latin America. And it has such a cool view of the whole city. Great way to end this trip because I only have a few days now. So I just need to pack up and uh, yeah, finish the whole experience here in Mexico City. But it's been great. It's such a great city. I'm, I'm happy that I spent a whole month in this place. All right, thank you for watching the video Mexico City. Don't forget to sign up at nomadlist.com if you want to know what are the best cities for digital nomad, plus the access to the community so you can do meetups and also know who is in Mexico City and other cities alike. And yes, they are a sponsor of my channel, so if you support them, I will be able to make more videos for you. So thank you, Nomadlist, for sponsoring this video. Also, Nomadlist is creating a new project called Rebase, so you can have a new residency in any city that you want. Right now, they're creating one for Portugal, but soon they're going to make one for Mexico so also check the links there if you want to know about it.
So Mexico City, one of the largest cities in the world, there's so many things to do. I didn't even show you everything because the video was already long. I didn't show you like some restaurants, some coffee shops, some things to do, but I'm creating a complete full guide that I can show you every single thing from arriving to the place, showing the best area, showing the best coffee. So check the links down below if you're interested in that guide. So I'm gonna put here in the screen the cost of living of Mexico City for a whole month. And for the sake of simplicity right now, I'm putting just $1 to 20 Mexican pesos and for the whole month I spent around $1,549 which is around 30,980 Mexican pesos so I personally find it like a very reasonable price but you can also get it lower or you can get it like higher your miles may vary it depends how you want to live there and yeah that's it I hope you like the video give me a comment tell me what you think about it should I make more long format videos like this and uh, yeah see you in the next video my friend ciao Quiero salir en la cámara. Hermoso, tesoro. Ay, los de Maracuyá se ven muy chocolate now, so I got this bar of chocolate here. such a beautiful, Bellas Artes is beautiful.